But first at noon, we're working breaking news in the North Providence corruption crackdown. Just a short time ago, the third former town councilman who pleaded guilty learned his punishment. John Zambarano was sentenced to close to six years in prison. Prosecutors say he is seen in this undercover FBI video obtained by the Target 12 investigators handing over cash to an informant. Eyewitness News reporter Catherine Sotting is live outside of District Court in Providence now with all the breaking details. Yeah, and Danielle, today, Zambarano's defense attorney asked for leniency in that sentencing, saying that his client was not using that bribe money for fancy vacations or an extravagant lifestyle. He says he was just trying to pay his bills and his grocery bills, but the prosecution here today took a different take on that. They called Zambarano, quote, a greedy pig, and they asked for the maximum sentence, which in the end is what he got. Do you think it was a fair sentence? Fair. No comment from former North Providence Town Councilman John Zambrano, who Judge Mary Lisi called a, quote, enthusiastic participant who cared little for the people he served. Zambrano was sentenced to 71 months, or about six years in prison, exactly what the prosecution asked for. It is a very, very severe sentence. Mr. Zambrano understands how serious this event is. He accepts responsibility and he's prepared to move forward with his life. Undercover video revealed first by the Target 12 investigators even shows what prosecutors say was Zamborano handing over bribe money. Zamborano admitted to shaking down local businesses in exchange for favorable votes on licensing and zoning changes. The prosecution today calling Zamborano power hungry, arrogant, and says he acted like a greedy pig. No comment, thank you. Two of Zamborano's colleagues were also sentenced yesterday. No Council President Joseph Birchfield to 64 months as proposed by the prosecution. Councilman Raymond Douglas to 78 months, seven months longer than the prosecutors proposed. And middleman Edward Amandi, who delivered the money to 12 months in one day in prison. So the bottom line here, now everyone has been sentenced, and the U.S. Attorney's Office actually just held a news conference on the culmination of all this. Of course, we'll have more on that tonight live at 5 on Eyewitness News. Reporting live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom with breaking news, I'm Catherine Sotnik, Eyewitness News.